You're looking at the latest LX570, the biggest SUV that the Lexus has to offer. And this vehicle starts at a price of 80,420,000 dirhams in United Arab Emirates. It comes with 21 inch tires. And the color which you see here is a kind of green, very nice green, uh, something that you don't see often on roads. I really like this color actually. The car is built very masculine. The design, the exterior design, they've got it right. Uh, they've done a good job with that. The LED lights look nice. What's disappointing is the interior when it comes to the technology, they feel a bit outdated and most people are going to be disappointed with this SUV just for that sake. The car also comes with the illuminated tread plates and on the inside you have this nice red stitch leather seats. It kind of goes well with the dark interiors. In the center, the driver has handy off-roading controls right under its fingertips. The steering wheel uh, feels nice to hold, it's great leather and great wooden finish on the top and the bottom. The only problem is the steering wheel they still need to improve, it kind of feels like driving a truck. It's kind of stiff, it's not as good as the other SUVs at this segment. The doors close automatically, so it's got soft close. And you're looking at the rear vent here, and for the rear vent, just below that you have this handy uh, connect connectivity options so you've got this connectivity for volume your phone HDMI port headphone jack which is basically available for both passengers the rest of the passengers are going to actually love their armrest uh, they've got an entire suite uh, for vent controls here the buttons are nicely uh, sized and it feels nice to press them and control them so you have almost all the options that you have for vent controls both passengers have their own settings and you can also set it to auto so that the car sets its own right temperature for you. Otherwise, it even comes with ventilated seats, so the rear seat passengers have their own ventilated seats as well. Usually you see the ventilated seats mostly available only for the front passengers, but in this case, in this SUV, they have it for all rear and front passengers. For entertainment, both passengers have LCD screen right in front of them. Unfortunately, there ain't any touch screen. You know, and this is where you get frustrated in the car. It's still the old-fashioned way. So they've put this, so they've provided this handy remote whereby you would actually control it using this remote. It actually feels like a telephone, to be honest. If you see the size and shape, it's more like a telephone size, you know, a home phone. And the worst part is even the battery. It still uses AA batteries. It's not rechargeable. So very, very old-fashioned. Uh, the technology is definitely outdated in this SUV. So this is this one remote where you control both the screens. They have a toggle switch right on the top. So here the toggle switch is a left and a right. And basically you move across using this remote. The buttons are standard like all other Lexus models, nothing fancy. The door handles are nicely designed, they're very comfortable to use. Uh, the buttons are standard. The speakers have a nice chrome finish uh, which make them stand out. And you've got memory seats as well. The blinds are mechanical, you have to just pull them up and uh, pull them down. Then you have the cup holders here. Um, it can hold two decent uh, cups and they've got this nice uh, grippers. You also have ventilated seats and it could be hot or cold and you can just adjust them accordingly in three levels. And here as you can see the driver has all kinds of off-road controls right at his fingertips. You know he can change the uh, crawling adjustment, he can make crawling adjustment of the vehicle. He can choose different kinds of driving modes from echo, sport, normal and also he can adjust the height of the vehicle the suspension can be adjusted high low medium and what's important also is that the buttons are chunky and very comfortable and easy to use so this makes it very convenient especially when you're off-roading when you have these kind of uh, buttons right at your fingertips at the center on the sides you have dedicated buttons for the vent adjustment for your seats be it hot or cold for the center display you have this uh, mouse kind of setup so it's got this uh, fancy button which can actually be pressed and it moves around you have these dedicated buttons for maps scrolling up and down go back You've got a menu button as well 
which always takes you to the uh, main page. This will be the main navigation screen for the driver. It starts with maps. The maps like any other car, it's not as great as Google Maps. And you actually, use, I'm actually using the cursor to move around uh, this particular screen. Uh, the only issue is when it comes to typing text, it's a bit more challenging, but pressing and selecting icons is much easier. I would still prefer a nice uh, touch screen for this. You then have radio, a standard, you can actually preset your radio channels that you like to hear more often. You then have climate control. I love the climate settings on this uh, vehicle. You've got a lot of settings for it. On the right, you're actually seeing the trip details, uh, the past record, the fuel consumption status, uh, kind of very nice to have. Then you also have maintenance, uh, vehicle settings, door lock, light settings. You can adjust the sensitivity of the light, the interior lighting. The other vehicle settings, you would actually adjust uh, the driver's seats. It could actually uh, come forward and go backward as soon as you get into the vehicle. The parking sensors are good. Uh, the camera shows you well. It's easy to park the vehicle. And this is very important for such a big SUV. And it does a good job. So there's no issues with uh, the parking. Well, it feels like controlling a computer. That's what they intended. It's got a palm rest as well, a leather palm rest. Overall, the entire mouse arrangement hasn't been that great. It's quite tough to get the cursor steady on the interface. In the center, they have dedicated buttons for radio, media, or channels, changing your tracks, and your vent controls. And these light actually lits up uh, when you switch on the car. Otherwise, it's just blank. You just don't see the labels. And when you just switch on the car, you will actually see the lights popping up, which is kind of nice. The buttons are quite slim. And you also have uh, necessary port connections over here. You can also wirelessly charge your phone and basically holds any kind uh, of phone firmly inside it. There's also a light indicator which indicates when it's charging. The good part is it doesn't slip away from the charging spot. You also have a dedicated uh, port for wireless. Right in the front you have some ports. So you've got a USB port as well as a headphone jack which is a convenient feature. And if you just pull up the driver's armrest, you have this big space uh, cooling box inside it, and it can decently store at least six bottles of water. It's kind of a nice thing to have, especially if you're going into the desert. You can open the trunk uh, electronically, uh, which is good to have. And it's a split trunk, so you have to open one side and the other side. And it's usually useful when you have a lot of stuff inside the trunk. And what I love about is the seats, uh, how it folds down and folds up. It's very convenient in this SUV. And this is where they actually really score well. So it's completely electronic. With the press of a button, it will come down. And uh, with the press of a button, it folds up uh, as well. So this is very simple, uh, reclining the uh, rear seat. And you just have to pull the strap to pull it up. It's not very difficult. And it's got a magnetic connection as well. So it holds up uh, the strap to its place. And if you want to again pull it down, you just again stretch it. And then it folds back to its place. Again, just press the button. And it's all automatic. And this is what I really love about these uh, third seats, third row seats. It's very convenient. The trunk space is reasonable. And uh, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the review. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.